Hi, my name's Steve, and um, what I'd like to show you today is the correct way of pasting wallpaper. Now, I'm going to show you the way that a professional would do it, and um, as we're going along, I'll explain the reason why we're doing things. Um, basically, what we want to do is, we want to avoid getting any paste on the face of the paper. I mean, this is imperative if you're using um, a lot of these sort of natural fibres, the papers that you get today, uh, the beaded papers, hand prints. You must not get any paste on the face. But just generally, um, even if you're just hanging lining paper, it's good practice not to get any paste um, on the paper. We want to get, avoid getting any, any paste on the table, which is going to end up on the, on the paper. And generally, um, you just want to be working clean. You don't want paste all over the place. You want a professional finish, and at the end of the day, you don't even need to wipe the table down. It's all nice and clean, you know. You see these people with paste tables all clogged up. It's totally unnecessary. Okay, so what we do is I've cut this paper at um, 2.5 metres. An average room, like this room, would be about 2.4 metres high. So I've cut this at 2.5, and I've allowed um, 100 mil, um, so that's 50 mil or 2 inches either end for wastage. Um, so we've got the paper central here, I've got a couple of sheets here. You could have several, depends how many you've cut, how many you're using. Um, and the first thing we do is, we, we take this paper, the top sheet, over to one edge and, and we leave it about, about a centimetre hanging over the edge, that, that's plenty. And then we take our paste and we just paste down the centre first. It's nice, you know, make sure you've got a nice amount on there, you sort of get the feel for that. So that's down the centre. Okay, so now what we do is, because we want to avoid, um, at all costs, getting any paste on the front of the paper, what we do is, we paste outwards in this action, and then we crisscross it. And what's happening is, as we do this crisscross action, we're not going to get any misses. So, we're going out like this. Now you notice that I only brush outwards. If I was to draw the brush towards me, it would create a build-up which would give us uh, paste on the face of the paper, which we're trying to avoid. So we carry on like this, crisscross it, cross it, so no misses, that's nice and done. So now what we do is, we just draw the paper towards us, same thing, just about a centimetre hanging over, paste again. Now, um, what I've done here, I've just come short, we know that we've got plenty of waste, so there's no need to to paper, uh, put paste on right up to the top there. You can just come, you know, sort of a couple of centimetres off. And then the same again, we're just going to draw the paste towards us with this crisscross motion. You see, there's no horrible dry spots there that are going to cause problems when we're hanging. And we just carry on down like that. So now that's the first part of the paper done. So what we do is we just take our two edges like this and we just draw the paper up. Lay it down nicely, slide it into place, and we then pull the paper back, back over to that one edge, and be careful not to put too much paste on the brush here because we've only got a little bit to do. So again, just a scent of it, and then again, our crisscross action. So you're sort of holding the brush like you would a table tennis back really, and then. Draw it towards you. A little bit more pace there. And just draw it against, towards you, again, like that, like that a little bit. Okay, so now we just bring this edge over to here, like this. Move that down slightly without pushing that edge right too, too hard down because we don't want to create a crease there. Bring that edge over and this one back, and there's that one ready to go. So, um, it, depending on how quick you are or how quick you want to be, really, you could paste more. This will probably need about 10 minutes to soak. So, you could paste several, and then while you're um, hanging this one, the next one will be soaking, and you can sort of uh, get ahead of yourself like that. But there's no need to do that if you're not so confident or you know just beginner or whatever. Um, just, just take your time and, and paste them one at a time. Um, and that's about it really. I hope this has been useful and um, hope that I'll see you again.